So this is lesson 101, percent markups. This is a very practical lesson in that when you go to purchase something from the store, it is, you're not paying the price that the retailer paid for it. You're paying the price um, with some markup. And so that's what this lesson is all about. So we're gonna have this formula, okay? We're gonna have the selling price. The selling price, what they're selling it to you for is going to equal the purchase price, what the retailer paid for it, plus some markup, right? This is their profit. That is what they are making on the sale of that product, okay? So the markup in your problems is either gonna be, sometimes it's a percent of the purchase price, sometimes it's a percent of the sales price. So if, if it's a percent, percent of the purchase price, okay, then your formula is gonna look like your sales price equals your purchase price plus whatever the percent is times your purchase price, right? Pretty logical. If it is a percent of your sales price, then your formula will look like your sales price equals your purchase price plus whatever that percent, of course, when we do the percent, we're writing it as a decimal in decimal form times whatever your sales price is, okay? And when they use the word retail, what it retail for? <clears throat> retail is another word for sales price. That means what they sold it for. So those words are interchangeable. Make sense? Okay, let's look at Example one on page 420. All right, and we will work through our examples. It reads, the selling, the selling price, that sounded strange, the selling price was $48. So that's my selling price, the price we sold it for. If the markup, so this is gonna be my markup, was 20%, so 20% of the purchase price. Then what was the purchase price? And what was the markup? All right, so this value represents our markup and this will represent our purchase price. What's well, really one times the purchase price, right? So when I combine my like terms, I have $48 equals 1.2, that's just one plus 0.2 times the purchase price. Make sense so far? Then to solve for the purchase price, I divide both sides by 1.2, 48 divided by 1.2, my purchase price, was $40. Well, if they purchased it for $40, how much did they mark it up? If they sold it for 48, has to be eight. I don't even have to go back and plug that in. Of course, I could make sure, right, that the math works. Does, in fact, 20% of 40 equal $8? And it does. So that's my purchase price. They marked it up. $8, that's how much they made on that one sell. All right, let's look at example two on the bottom of page 420. Now they're starting out by giving us the purchase price. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my equal sign. 
The purchase price of the item was $1,800. If the markup was 40%, so 0.40 of the sales price, what was the selling price? All right, so what we would do is we would move our like terms to the same side. So we'll subtract 0.4 selling price on both sides. And we end up with 1,800. That's really 1.0, 1.0 1 minus 0.4 would be 0.6 times the selling price. Then we divide both sides by 0.6. And the selling price always needs to, if they're losing money, if the selling price isn't more than 1800 right? And always when you divide a number by a decimal, less than one, it's always going to be greater. So the selling price is $3,000. So their markup has to be 1200 because 1200 plus 1800 is 3000 So I'm going to check myself. Does 3,000 times 0.40 equal 1,200? And it does. All right, so they're making a lot of money off of this. The sharks on Shark Tank would be excited. If you've ever, have you ever watched Shark Tank? No. That's entrepreneurs, yes. Entrepreneurs. They pitch their product to try to get an investor. All right. Now let's look at 101.3 on the top of page 421. Now this one says the sports car retail. That means it sold for. That's the selling price. $10,368. Well, if it's a sports car, it's got to be an older model, right? Not thinking this is a brand new model. What was the purchase price? So that's what we're solving for. If the car had been marked up, 8%, 8% is 0.08 of the purchase price. All right, so on the right-hand side, again, this is 1.0. So we just combine our like terms. We have $10,368 equals 1.08 times the purchase price. When we divide by 1.08 to solve for the purchase price, we have 10,368 divided by 1.08. So the purchase price was 9,600. So then our markup has gotta be that 10,368 minus the 9,600 which is $768. But is that 8% of the 9,600? So you should check yourself. And that in fact is 9,600 times 0.08 is $768. That is lesson 101.